Tech brought to you by Hattie Hats. Today we're going to go over how to create your own cold wallet. Because cold wallets nowadays are $100, $200, they're ridiculously priced. You can literally create a cold wallet with a flash drive and two programs. So let's, let's check it out and I'll walk you through it. To create your cold wallet you're going to need three things. A flash drive that has four gigabytes or higher program called Veracrypt and another program called Queenly. The links will be in my description and I'm gonna walk you through it right now. Once you have downloaded Veracrypt and Coinomi and you have your flash drive ready and plugged into your computer, you're going to wanna open Veracrypt. Start the install. Accept. So you can either extract it, which it'll kind of like its own run on its own little thing. It says if you select this option, all files will be extracted from the package, but nothing will be installed on the system. Do not select if you intend to encrypt your system partition or system drive. So this is a little more advanced. What I'm going to do is do repair and reinstall. I already had it installed, so just doing this for to show everybody how it's done. Um, we're going to do at the desktop. Okay, okay so I'm going to have to restart my computer. I'm going to get back on. After you're done installing Veracrypt, Open it. Go to create volume. You can uh, encrypt just a single file or you can encrypt a whole partition. We're going to want to do the partition. Now you can do hidden or standard. Hidden is more for like extortion and keeping your stuff hidden. Um, standard is what we're going to want to do. Then we go to select device wallet or whatever you call it, your flash drive. We're going to want to create encrypted volume and format it. So make sure you have nothing important on your flash drive. And you're going to want to keep it on the standard settings, AES and SHA-512. You can change it if you want to, but you have to know what you're doing. Okay, looks good. Now we create our password and do something simple just for this. You're going to want to make it a little more complicated though. Alright, created it. It's one, two, three, four, five. Short password, easy to crack. Are you sure you want to use a short password? Yes, just for this. Um, we'll do large files just in case, but. If you just intend on putting your wallet on here, I suggest keeping it at no. But just in case you want to put more stuff, click yes. Okay, now for this, you need to move your mouse around so the algorithm can create your keys. Once that is ready, we're going to want to format. That's okay. a second for it to do what it needs to do. I'm going to do quick format. This will create it to go fast. I didn't even think about it. So you want to do quick format. Okay. Barracrypt volume has been successfully created.
Alright. So now... Oh, thank you. So now, we try to open it just from the computer. It's gonna come with this. You need to format this disk before you can use it. You do not want to format it. If you format it, you delete everything on it. So the way to open it is you click auto mount device then remember your password I suggest writing it down one two three four five okay it takes a second for it to mount your device give it a second Once your device has been mounted, mounted, you can see it right here. And this is how you're going to open your drive. So you're just going to click on that, and bam, now you're in. You cannot open it directly from the file uh, folder. So now we want to install Coinomi onto the hard drive. Now that we've auto-mounted it, it's open, so we're going to click to install Coinomi. Once you have Coinomi set up, up and running, get that going. You're gonna to want to go down to local disk E. Install it on there. Once it is done installing, it takes a second. Just waiting. Now we're going to launch it. I want to show you how it works. Launch it from here. Give it a second. right here. Want to run it from your drive? Second to load. Now create a new wallet or you can restore a wallet you've already owned. Go to create a new wallet. And the seed phrase right here, you're going to want to write it down. Do not keep it on your phone or your computer and keep it somewhere safe. Do not give this to anyone. And after you've done this, you of course you want to do that. Let's get that. I want to create a password. You go through that process and you'll have your wallet installed on your flash drive. So that's pretty much it, easy to use, and then once you want to get out of this drive so it can be secure again, you want to dismount it, and now it's gone. Now nobody, nobody can get into this except for you, and as long as you have Veracrypt installed on the computer you had it installed on. Remember to write down your seed phrase too because if you lose your wallet or anything happens to it, you can get it back as long as you have those uh, your seed phrase. So do not lose that. I hope this has helped and I tried my best to explain it. I'm not, I'm not the greatest at explaining, but I'm trying my best to show everyone how easy it is and how cheap it can be to create your own cold wallet. Alright, thanks everybody.